join us here at Green Family Feud. My name is Jordan Bauer. I'm the Executive Director of the Green Party of PEI. And I'm going to uh, turn things over right away to uh, our host, uh, Bill Kendrick. I'm just going to let you know a couple of uh, little housekeeping things here. So you'll notice that when you, uh, when you joined us, uh, the, uh, the default here is for your video to be off and for yourself to be uh, muted. So we're going to keep that keep it that way for uh, everybody except for the the players. We've got two teams, and we're going to keep them keep their videos on so that you're able to see them uh, very easily, and uh, and as well as the volume. So if you can keep yourself uh, muted and keep your video off, uh, unless you are on one of the two teams, Team Trish or Team Lynn. And uh, with that, I'm going to introduce uh, Bill Kendrick. Bill is uh, the chair of the Stratford Regional Association, and uh, that's that's his his Green Party role. Uh, I know that he's uh, he's an amazing person in uh, many other facets of his life as well. Uh, and amazing uh, is not a term that has been used with me generally. Well, he was he was specifically sought out to be the host of uh, yeah. of this show because of his game show like personality, apparently. Absolutely. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to uh, to Bill to get us started with the game. Thanks, Jordan. Much appreciated. Welcome, everybody, to uh, the Green Party uh, family feud. Now, the reason we're even doing this is because apparently word got got out that uh, there's a little bit of trouble brewing in the uh, in the Green Party caucus. That District 23. MLA Trish Altus and District 21 MLA Lynn Lund. A little bit of friction going on between the two of them. It, appear, it For some reason, things are done alphabetically within the caucus. And so Altus always gets to go first and Lund last. And even though Lynn represents District 21 and <clears throat> Trish is from District 23, if things were done numerically, then they would be reversed, but they're not. They're done alphabetically. And so that's just caused a little bit of friction between the two of them. So the District 2123 Regional Association decided it was time to step in and bring their two, two MLAs together to revolve, resolve things once, once and for all. And they decided to do it through a family feud competition. So let's welcome Family Altus and family Lund. On the Lund team is Lynn Lund, Michelle Patterson, <laughs> Jeff Charlton, Jill McIntyre, and Eddie Childs are on the uh, representing team or family Lund. And family Altus has Trish, of course, Hannah Bell, Ron McConnell, Corey McLean, and Susan Hartley. So we're going to get uh, we're going to get started. We're going to have Lynn and Trish come on up, and we're going to start with uh, with you. Note, they cannot answer until after I have completed the question, and the way they're answering is is they have to click on the hands up emoji, and the first one to put their hand up will will get to answer first. If if you get the, the top answer, you can choose to play or pass. If you don't get the top answer, then the other player will have a chance to guess the top answer or the higher, the higher answer, depending on which one you pick first. So the team with the most points at the end of six rounds gets to go to the, to the speed round. So everybody all set? We understand uh, what we're doing. So we've got Trish and Lynn set to, to go. Members of the PEI Green Party were surveyed, and the top five answers are on the board. Name something that is green. Lynn, you were in, you were in first. Name something green. Grass. Grass. The number, the number one answer. Do you want to play or pass? Oh, play for sure. Okay. So, Michelle, name something that is green. I'll go with trees. Oh, that was not a bad answer, though. 
I would have guessed trees as uh, as well. So Jeff, now Jeff, I understand you you know how to walk a tightrope. Is that correct? He's muted. He's muted. Famous last words. It's the new phrase. I can watch but I can't. I can't unmute. Yeah. <laughs> So Jeff, I understand you use you you still can walk a tightrope. How did that all happen? I think so. I was just uh, extreme boredom as a child. <laughs> <laughs> and you can still you can still do it. Do you have you have a tightrope in the backyard? Uh, I have in the last few years. I've tried. Yeah. And you're still healthy, yeah. no broken legs. It's good for your balance. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> can you name name something that is green. Vegetable. <laughs> Good answer. Too broad? Too broad? I don't know. We'll give it to him. Lettuce <laughs> was that was there. <laughs> so next next up is uh, Jill. Uh, Kermit the frog. Frog is there? Yes. <laughs> and Eddie. Can you name something that's that's green? I would I I would have certainly said Kermit if Jill hadn't come and, and gotten that answer for us. So I'm going to go with a with a clover, a lucky four leaf clover. That's two wrong two wrong answers. So so team uh, Altus, get ready to get ready to steal. If uh, if we're back we're back now to Lynn, Lynn. Do you think of something else that's green? I'm going to go with politics. Peter Bevan Baker, close enough. <laughs> One answer remains on the on the board. If you get it right, you will win this round. If not, Trish Trish teams gets to, to steal. Michelle. Can you name something that's green? I will try candy. Oh, no. Good guess, though. Trish. OK. So I get, I get one guess, right? You, that's you how it works? One, you get one guess. If you get it, then you get the points. If not, Lynn gets them. OK. I'm going to go with money. Uh. <laughs> so, so what what there's 86 points for the lund family what was the last remaining uh answer on there that they didn't get emeralds emeralds emeralds, emeralds. okay we have the next the next one we have the show <laughs> oh, Michelle, understand, understand something that people may not know about you is, is that you're a physicist by training. I am. And, and how did you end up in the working in the Green Party? I think that's probably a longer story than what Family Feud has to offer. <laughs> <laughs> and and H Hannah, we I understand I understand you can't swim. No. Nope. You live no, on I, an I, island. I... You live on an island and you can't <laughs> swim. You you what do understand the impact of global warming, do you, in terms of what it's going to do to the sky? I can float. I'm really float. well padded, so I float. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> well, are you ready to to, to go and play Family Feud. Totally. Okay. All right, Michelle and Hannah. Members of the Green Party were surveyed and the top six answers are on the board. Name a word you would expect Peter Bevan Baker to say in a speech Our in the legislature. The recommendations of the National Inquiry into Missing Hannah, and you were first in. Girls. 
It comes exactly two years after the inquiry. Somebody's watching Compass. The federal Me. government is promising more money and legislative changes to end violence against Indigenous women. Stop the fight with Compass. What, uh, what word would you expect Peter Bevan Baker to say in a speech in the legislature, Hannah? Farce. What was it? <laughs> Farce. Uh... <clears throat> No, Michelle, what word would you expect Peter Bevan Baker to say in a speech in the letter? I will go with transparency. Uh, nope. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go to Jeff. Jeff. So, what word would you expect Peter Bevan Baker to say in a speech in the legislature? Sustainable. Uh, Oh. Vaughn, you're next up. What word would you expect Peter Bevan Baker to say in a speech in the legislature? I'm going to go with environment. Uh. Boy, I don't know what these uh, members of the Green Party were thinking, but none yeah. of those answers are, are there. Jill. Uh, I'm going to go with fair. Uh. <laughs> This is not going well at the moment. Corey. A word that you might expect Peter Peter Bevan Baker to say in a speech in the legislature. Oh gosh. Um a vote. Uh. <laughs> Eddie, you gotta help us out Come here. Come on, Eddie. I'm gonna go with peaceful. Uh Susan. Speaker. Yes, the number one answer. Okay, <laughs> so. Ready to go, Susan. <laughs> Trish, do you want to play or pass? Ooh, let's, ooh. <laughs> let's play. We'll give it a go. Let's it a do go. it. All right. Go. So, name a, name a, Trish, name a word that you would expect Peter Bevan Baker to say in the speech in the legislature. Hope. Hope? Yep. Where's are we are we up there or not, Bev? Oh, sorry, you know what? I just muted Bev because I heard some kind of weird sound and I forgot she's the buzzer. <laughs> I'm gonna ask uh, you what no. I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there. The uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, Hannah. Name Collaboration. Uh, Ron, name a word that you would expect Peter Bevan Baker to say in a speech in the legislature. Member. Uh, I think that's three strikes. We're going to Lynn. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so I hope Peter's not watching. The answer I'm gonna go with is Islander. <laughs> so Lynn, Lynn's team has uh, stolen on uh, on that. So how many points in total now does uh, Team Lund have? So uh, I'm gonna need Sandra to... <laughs> 122. Okay. All right. Taking a big, big lead. All right, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff and Ron. Oh, the other. Oh, yes. We should reveal the other. The other answers. Uh, and sorry, I, I should just clarify there, Sandra. Was that 122 just from this round or altogether? Total. Oh, that's total. Okay, sorry, I. Yeah, they won the first round. So, answer number six: gratitude. Answer five: democracy. Four: critical. Three: green. <laughs> we didn't make these up. These were the answers that came from the Green Party survey that was sent out. So. Jeff and Ron, you ready to play? Go for it. All right. 
So Ron, Ron yeah. tell me, tell me, you you had a nickname as a kid. I did. What was it? How'd you get it? Uh, oddly enough, my nickname was Moose. <laughs> And anybody that has met me knows that I ain't no moose. Uh, when I started high school, I was 12 years old and about 94 pounds and about four foot 10. And uh, my best friend through the first couple of years in high school, Joey Poulton was six foot two and 195 pounds. And his nickname was Tiny. So by default, I got moose. <laughs> it stuck with me for 40 years. 40 years. Well, we're glad to have you, Moose, and you're up against on uh, the tightrope on this. So, members of the PEI Green Party were surveyed. The top five answers are on the on the board. What is PEI best known for? Jeff, you're in. You're in first. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say beaches. What is it? Beaches. Beaches. Beaches, I believe he said. Uh, oh. Ron, what is PEI best known for? Confederation Bridge. That was the fifth answer. Do you want to play or pass? I think we should play. Okay. So, Corey. Corey, what is best? Um, Anna Green Gables. Anna Green Gable, number one answer. Susan, what is PEI best known for? Hospitality. Trish. All right, gotta go potatoes. Yes. Rich. Hannah. Lobster. Uh. <laughs> I protest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to speak to the members of the Green Party about uh, these, these answers. Back to you, Ron. Uh, Cavendish. Uh, Rainbow Valley. Nope. <laughs> Corey, what is PEI best? Known? That's three strikes, I think, Bill, isn't it? That's three, was it? I was. I wasn't keeping track. That's three, so. Lynn's team gets to gets the chance to uh, to steal. Two answers left on the on the board. Lynn, what is PEI best known for? Confederation. Uh, no, Trish. <laughs> Trish's team win wins that uh, that round. And momentarily, our accountant will have the. Uh, 76 points. So the, the two missing answers, answer number four, red soil. And answer number three, first province in Canada to have the Green Party opposition. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> <laughs> you'd, you'd think it would be something that you would come up with, wouldn't you? Jillian and Corey, you ready to play? So, Jill, so ready. Jill, I understand you used to work at the Silver Fox Museum, and that you just you know everything there is to know about the Silver Fox <laughs> Tell us, tell us something we might not have known. All right, uh, my favorite fun fox fact to traumatize you all with. Um, so a female fox is known as a vixen and they go through quite a significant whelping period. Um, and after their birth, they're feeling very vulnerable. The males don't really stay around. Um, so if they feel threatened in any way, like if a farmer spooked them, um, they would actually eat their babies. Yeah, that is kind of gross out. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome for that. <laughs> Jill, thanks. Okay, so much for dinner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I think they should get 50 points off. 50 for that. Points. I think we should get 50 <laughs> points plus for the public education. <laughs> and Co Corey, I understand you, yes. can't, you can't whistle. Why can't you yeah. whistle? <laughs> Give it a try. Um, <laughs> okay, so I can't whistle and I like, I just totally can't. 
I could whistle like once for like a week when I was a kid and like the way my dad tells the story is that I would not stop whistling like in between breaths I would like whistle and whistle and whistle and I'd be like I just can't stop whistling sort of thing um so my hypothesis is that the powers that be took the ability away from me to save the world from such destruction <laughs> you don't want to give a try now <laughs> You don't want to try whistling for us now? Not if I don't want spit on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Jill and Corey, you're all uh, you're already members of the PEI Green Party. Were surveyed, and the top seven answers are on the board. What do kids dislike doing the most, or dislike going to? No. Eating vegetables. Uh, no. What do kids dislike to go to the most? Sorry, I dislike going to the most. Yeah. Corey? Is this one for me? Yep. Okay. Um, outside, kids these days. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, Eddie. Where do, where do kids dislike going the most? Uh, I'm going to go with my gut on this one, Bill, and say the dentist. Number one answer, yes. So, Team Lund, do you want to play or pass? Oh, oh that's me. We'll play. We'll play. All right. So, Lynn, where do kids dislike going the most? I'm going to go with school. Yes. Michelle, where do kids dislike going the most? I will say the doctor. It's hospital or doctor. You're on a roll. You're on a roll here, Jeff. Where do kids dislike going the most? Uh, devil's advocate here. Church. Yes. Three more <laughs> answers on the on the board to, to sweep. Jill? I'm gonna say to bed. Oh, excellent. Eddie, two answers left. Back around. Um kids don't like visiting relatives. Ooh. One answer left. And you haven't got any strikes yet, so Lynn? I'm gonna go with to the bath. Uh. Michelle, one answer left, one strike. Where do kids not like to go? Oh, shoot, Um, I will say to Time's up. Time's up. Jeff? I got nothing. Um, Where is this like going the most? I'm going to say to the store. I don't know. Shopping. Good job. Oh, clean sweep. Got all seven. What does that bring? Uh, two, 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 two. Is that what I'm seeing? So, Sa Sandra. <laughs> Sorry for my scoring system. It would be helpful if you if you could just give me the the amount to add to the original score. Otherwise, it's yeah, that's kind of how the scoreboard works. <laughs> Sorry. A <laughs> hundred more for the Lund family. Points, okay. Uh... Thank you. Hey, next up, Eddie and Eddie against Susan. All right. Bring it on. Yes. Eddie, you you were I you were asked if you were to be an animal, what animal would you be? And you said sloth. Oh, you went with this one. I I I was ready for the other one. I said sloth. It's a little self-deprecating, but you know, I'm realistic, sloth-like <laughs> qualities, but in an appreciable way. Yes. Which were you ready for the for the banjo ukulele? 
well you got it there to play? part of me was was ready but another bigger part of me really wasn't but we'll we'll move on okay <laughs> so susan i understand you're in the pei sports hall of fame not the pei sports well, not, hall of fame which, a, a different sports which hall of fame. sports hall of fame are you in i'm in two actually the British Columbia Sports Hall of Fame and the Pictou County Sports Hall of Fame. For what? Uh, BC for curling and uh, Pictou County for dragon boating. Dragon boating. Mm -hmm. Big North American sport. <laughs> I did win second place in the world championship in China. So there wow. you go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Excellent. I'm, in, I'm impressed. Well, let's see. Not by you. myself. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if you can put that all to uh, to good use. Both of you, your members of the PEI Green Party were surveyed, and the top five answers are on the, on the board. Name something Peter Bevan Baker would count to fall asleep. Susan. Votes. That's number two answer. Eddie, if you can get the number one answer, you can uh, choose to play or pass. Name something Peter Bevan Baker would count to fall asleep. Members of the legislature. <laughs> okay, Susan, do you want to play or pass? We will play. All right. Trish, name something Peter Bevan Baker would count to fall asleep. Go with the classic sheep. Uh, okay. Clearly, the members of the PEI Green Party are not cl into classics. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, name something that Peter Bevan Baker would count to fall asleep. Uh, members. Uh, two, two strikes. Lund team, get ready to steal if Ron doesn't get the uh, the right answer, or one of the answers here. Glasses of glasses of scotch. Uh. <laughs> that would be appropriate for Peter, I think. <laughs> Lynn, for the steal. I'm going with teeth. Cavities, fillings, yes. <laughs> so the the uh, other answer is number five, kilts. Number three, can't see it, musical instruments and trumpets. And number one answer, questions for the premier. <laughs> So how many how many uh, district points did uh, one get on that one? Twenty one. Can we get a total score? Can we get a total score there, Jordan? Absolutely. Let's take a look at the boards. Okay, we're two forty three to seventy six for 46. Team Lynn. Okay, we're down to our we're down to our last question in the uh, in the main round. So Trish, you're going to have to really do well on uh, on this to come uh, to come back. All right. So, and we have uh, Trish and Lynn. Members of the Green Party were surveyed. Top eight answers are on the board. <laughs> Name something that goes up and down. Trish. An elevator. All right, number one answer. You gonna play? Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, we will. We'll play. We'll play. Good for go you. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Hannah. Name something that goes up and down. The poles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the 
such a good answer. That's a good answer. I would have picked that. Ron, name something that goes up and down. Stairways. Uh, ah. Whoa, my goodness. Corey, can you save can you save the team or are we gonna uh give uh Lynn Oh gosh. To um name something that goes uh, up seesaw. And down. Seesaw. <laughs> Number seven, yes. Way to go. <clears throat> Susan. Oh name my gosh. That goes up and down. The weather. Uh, Who would have said that? Thank you. Lynn, you have a chance to steal. Name something that goes up and down. Sea level. Uh, oh, no. Painful. Not painful. So the number. Number eight answer, airplane. Number six, a yo-yo. Number five, roller coaster. Number four, thermometer, temperature. Is it that weather? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is kind of weather. <laughs> well, the buzzer, the buzzer went. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't pay her enough. I didn't pay her enough. It's so yeah. No, not nearly. <laughs> or Bev fell asleep. I'm not sure which. So. <laughs> number, thir number three answer, interest rates. And number two answer, zipper. So what's our what's our score uh, here? Trish, Trish's team, I think, won 23 points there with the number one answer. What's our overall totals here? I, I think I think Team Lund might have edged out Team Altus on uh, on this one. Two forty three to one oh six. All right. So Team Lund, you get to go to the speed round. So you need to name two players who are going to uh, to go to the to the speed round. Who's going to play for, for Team Lund? Who am I sending to the speed round? I'm going to send Jill and Michelle. Jill and Take Michelle. That. Okay, so Jordan, you have to put one of them, Jill or Michelle, into a breakout room where they can't hear the uh, hear the questions and the and the answers. How do I decide which one? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go first? Okay, nobody. Put Michelle. Put Michelle in the, uh, the quiet room. Okay, you're going into the waiting room, Michelle. Okay, Jill. All right. Survey. One hundred people were surveyed. In the top. What do we got here? We survey hmm? seven. Sandra, you're going to have to speak up. Uh, the hand waving is not working. You just ask the question. They give an answer. You don't. This is just the survey. If they get part of the survey, they get points. If they don't get a number, they don't okay. get any points. But you don't. They don't know how many. All just right. Ask the question. All right, and we have you have 20 seconds, correct? In which yep. you answer yes. answer the questions if you. Uh, if you can't think of an answer, say can't think of it. We'll try. And, we'll come back to it if we have have time. If you hear the buzzer, it means it wasn't in amongst the uh, the answers. Okay, you got to Don't wave at me, Sandra. You got to help me here. If I'm making a mistake, tell me. Okay, we're just gonna. You have 25 se or 20 seconds to answer five questions. You read the question. They give an answer. When the at the end of it, we'll tell her how many points that she got. Okay, yes. All then right. we'll go. To yep. Okay, thank you. It's also complicated for me. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Thank you, Bev. Okay. Uh, Who's tell me when you're ready so I can start the timer, please. Okay, you all set to go, Jill. <laughs> okay, the timer will start at the end of my first question. If the maritime provinces had their own currency. 
Name something that would be on the $10 bill. Lobster. Name something that people cut. Grass. Name something a dentist puts in your mouth. Races. Name a subject people know a lot of trivia about. Politics. Name something that starts with the word king. Kingdom. Good job. All right. Well, we'll go back. The Maritime Provinces had own currency. Na name something that would be on the $10 bill. You said. Lobster. She's you said lobster. lobster. That was the number one answer. 20, 26 points. Name something that people cut. Your answer was? Grass. Number four. It was there. Nine points. Name something a dentist puts in your mouth. Your answer was? Braces. Braces. That was uh, nope. name. Name a subject you know a lot of trivia about. You said politics. That was the number four answer. Eight points. And name something that starts with the word king. You said kingdom. Kingdom. Number four answer, 17 points. So he has a total of, is that 63? 63 points. Okay, let's let, let's let Michelle back in. Does Jill, does Jill need to go into the waiting room now? No. Okay. No, Jill's finished. So Michelle? Michelle should be back with us now. I don't see her. Hello. I think I'm back. Is Michelle, are you there? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing. Oh, there you are. Okay. So, uh, Jill got 63 points. So, you, know, you got to get a whack of points to get to, uh, to 200. 137. 137, thank you. Counting has never been my strong suit. So, all right, you got 25 seconds on the on the board. I'm going to ask you a question. You give us an answer. If, uh, if it's an answer that uh, Jill already give us, gave us, you will hear this. Oh, no, sorry. You will hear the buzzer. I can't handle the pressure. <laughs> And you'll get a chance to give another answer. If you can't think of an answer, just say pass. And if there's time, we'll come, we'll come back to it. Does that make sense to you? We're all set? Okay. I guess so. All right. The, you've got 25 seconds. The clock will start at the end of my first question. If the Maritime Provinces had their own currency, name something that would be on the $10 bill. Lobster. Potatoes. Name something that people cut. Grass. Trees. Name something a dentist puts in your mouth. Oh, uh, needle. Time's up. Whoa, that went fast. <laughs> We're going to let you go anyways. Name a subject people know a lot of trivia about. Uh, movies. Name something that starts with the word king. Uh, king Fisher. Okay. So we start with 63 points. If the Maritime Provinces had their own currency, name something that would be on the $10 bill. You said? What did she say? She said lobster. Potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, potatoes. No, wasn't there. Strange. Name something that people cut. She said trees. Trees? If you're very tall, maybe. 
Not there. Name something a dentist puts in your mouth. You said? A needle, right? Yes. And that was there, number one answer, 40 points. Name a subject people know a lot of trivia about. You said? Movies. Movies, that's entertainment. So that was there, 30 points. And name something that starts with the word king. You said? Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Nope, wasn't there. Number one answer is King Kong. Total 133 points. So, so close to winning the big money. Just, just to clarify, does that include the points that uh, Jill got? Okay, thank yeah. you. But good try. Yeah, Jill is asking what's the number one answer? King Kong was the number one answer. For, uh, staying, name a subject with people know a lot of trivia about. Number one was sports. Name something a dentist puts in your mouth. The number one answer was Novocaine or needle. Name something that people cut. The number one answer, hair. And the number one answer for what would be put on our currency on the $10 bill was lobster. So thanks everybody. Hopefully everything is now settled between Trish and Lynn and they can go back to an amicable uh, uh, time in the, uh, in the caucus. Uh, oops, I just lost my, uh, my notes here. Uh, but before we before we go, the uh, the Summerside Greens are hosting a volunteer member appreciation barbecue at Heather Moist Park on Saturday, June 26th. They uh, invite anybody who's uh, interested in coming along and uh, sharing some time with other Summerside Greens to join them at the barbecue on Saturday, June 26th. And also, if you're interested, uh, District 2123 Regional Association. Would love to have people interested in helping with events or to participate on the uh, on the RA. You can contact Bev Cornish for for more information. So thanks everybody. Good night. Take care. Stay safe. Good day. Thanks, thanks everyone. Thanks everybody. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good seeing everyone. See ya. Good night everybody. <laughs>